Welcome to the renovated Minnesota Supreme Court Capitol Courtroom. It's a real honor and a privilege to be able to serve on that and sit on that bench over there. I had some small role in the renovation from the standpoint of the court, and I'm very pleased with how the, the renovated courtroom turned out. First of all, it looks basically the same as it did in 1905. The colors are the same, the woodwork is the same, and most importantly, the magnificent artwork has been restored. So it, it features the original co colors of artist, American artist John Lafarge, who was a very big deal back in 1905. I think the total amount paid for artwork in the Capitol was about a quarter million dollars. The amount paid for the four artworks in this courtroom alone were $40,000. So the, the, the big money back in 1905 went into this courtroom. And there, there are stories of each of these four paintings, but they all revolve around the theme of justice, receiving justice, recording justice, mediating disputes among parties. Now the other thing that's, that is the same as 1905, but that was not the same before the renovation started, is the magnificent skylight that we have above us. The skylight, for some bad reason, was uh, covered over. Now it's open and we get magnificent natural light. And you know, the idea of natural light and justice, I think, just sort of seemed to go together. Up in the dome, in four places, appears the word Lex, L-E-X. That is not Lex Luthor in the Superman comics. That is Latin for the word law. And I think the fact it's up in the dome tells us that the law is above us all. No one, in other words, no one is above the law. And then at the, the back door, as you go out, the last thing you see are the words, where law ends, tyranny begins. Once again, it's the idea that no one is above the law. No matter how rich or powerful you are in this country, no matter how big a corporation you are, you have to obey the law. And I think that's a very, very powerful message in our society where the difference between rich and poor seems to be growing greater every day. I, uh, when I come out of the bench, that's about the first thing that I look at. Then you'll notice on the bench, there are nine chairs. There are nine chairs because the Minnesota Supreme Court was nine justices until it was reduced to seven in about 1982 when the Minnesota Court of Appeals was created. We still keep the nine chairs up there. They are not the same chairs as architect Cass Gilbert designed for this courtroom. I sat in his design chairs. They had a lot of ornate woodwork on the back and they were the most uncomfortable things I've ever sat on. So we think if we're gonna devote time and care and attention to listening to attorneys for a couple hours, we should probably have chairs that, that aren't poking in our backs and so we have comfortable chairs. So with that exception, this courtroom is pretty much the same as it was in 1905. It's part of a magnificent capital structure built in that year, renovated recently to the tune of $300 million. The dollar doesn't go quite as far as it did in 1905, but we're very lucky to be here. And we have court here at least one week every month for the 10 months that we're sitting.